Hi, this is Mark, and welcome to the Raw Nutrition Kitchen. Today we'll be demonstrating the Ben Reiner Cook Help Pro Spiral Slicer. Let's pull down our screen and see it in action. The Ben Reiner Cook Help Pro Spiral Slicer model P22402 has space for vegetables 3 and 7 8 inches long, 5 inches wide. The unit is 5 and a half inches long, 4 inches wide, and 11 inches high. It includes four stainless steel blades, two and a half inches wide. You have the number one flat spiral cut blade, which is installed, the number two noodle cut, number three larger noodle cut, and the number four, the largest noodle cut. We'll install the number two small noodle cut, which is one and 30 seconds of an inch. Just slide the blade right into the slicer, loosening the clamp on the side. You just tighten up that screw on the side and we're ready to go. Let's look around here, turning this slicer around and get a good feel of the shape. This slicer has no container, no plastic container like the spiral slicer from Joyce Chen. It has two rubber feet on the bottom for supporting it well on a counter. Installed is the number one flat cut and the number two spiral cut blade. And you have the two other extra blades for larger noodle slices. We'll start a demonstration now. We've got zucchini that's been pre-cut to fit inside the slicer. We have the small noodle cut, one and 32 of an inch thick. We install that right into the unit and tighten up on the screw on the side. Make sure your blade is in place. To install a zucchini, if you just lift up the handle, poke it into the bottom pin, and then push down from the top. There are 12 prongs to hold the vegetables and then you simply start turning. It's very easy to do, doesn't require much pressure at all, the blades are very sharp, and you just keep on turning right till you get to the end of the vegetable. You can hold the slicer in different positions, make sure you're comfortable. And just consistently cut right down to the end. Every spiral slicer leaves a little bit of vegetable that can't be cut. That's just part of the design. You've got the prongs holding the vegetable and usually that part will not be able to be cut down. So here's our result. We have a nice little pile of finely shredded zucchini. You lift up the handle, you can pull out your blade. Remember this one was with the the thinnest cut and we'll install the medium cut removing the zucchini from the first demonstration installing the larger noodle cut the one that's one and an eighth of an inch is thick we pre-cut our zucchini so we we'll more easily demonstrate them when we poke into the bottom center it and then apply pressure from the top. Place your slicer where you'll feel most comfortable and then just continually turn. With the larger cut blade you'll be getting of course thicker cut noodles and it does seem to go a little faster when the blades are bigger. We'll go right down to the bottom. You can't go too far. The slicer automatically stops at its most furthest point. Again, we have our little piece of leftover zucchini and these noodles that are thicker. That's processed with the number three blade. We have removed our number three blade. We'll clean off the space and we will install the number four, the large noodle cut, three and sixteenth of an inch thick blade. Same process, poke your vegetable into the lower pin and the prongs on the top push down. 
place your spiral slicer where you feel most comfortable and go down. Now you can see right away these noodles are much bigger than the first one. And also again a little easier because the spaces are larger, the vegetable cuts down more easily. And just keep turning right to the bottom. And there you have it. Our cut with the largest blade. We'll place that in the middle here. As was processed with our number four blade with the larger noodle cut. From our fine to our medium and our large cut. Now we'll be demonstrating just the flat spiral cut no noodles. So you remove all your blades. We'll be doing the flat spiral cut. Push your vegetable into the lower pin and push down your handle prongs and we start turning. By using the straight blade you'll be getting finely sliced zucchini or some would call ribbon cut zucchini. This is very zudu and your strand will be very long once you've completed. We'll go right down to the end of the zucchini. And look, it's as long as your piece of zucchini. And again, you just have a small little piece of zucchini left over. And this was processed with the number one blade. We hope you've enjoyed our demonstration today of the Ben Reiner Cook Help Pro in the Raw Nutrition Kitchen. This is Mark. I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.